You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for a Green Apple Twizzlers. We've been running through a whole bunch of green stuff, so if you're into that and uh, getting geared up for St. Patrick's Day, then check the description below or search our channel. Now it is the Peel and Pull Twizzlers. You'll see it here, Peel and Pull, and then it peels apart in strands. This is green apple. Look at that. Mmm, green apple. I can't wait to try it. I've never had the green apple. There are always nine strands in a Twizzlers pull and peel candy. That means you can split one with eight of your friends or just have it all for yourself. Whether tying knots, creating edible jewelry, or simply pulling and peeling, it's all about having a good time, assembly not included. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know what I was going to say there. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Twizzlers. All right. I just need to get in there now. I'm going to cut it. Just seems to be the best thing to do. But it's all kind of stuck, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to be easy to pull one out. I might have to dig deeper in here. Not that I like to open it this much. I'm going to have to reseal this later. So, let's see. Here's our first strand ever. Let's see how easy it is to peel and pull. Broke a little. Maybe if I take a few off at a time or, you know, start to work it a little bit here. It is sticky. All right. Can I make it? Jewelry, huh? Are people making jewelry out of this? Have you made jewelry out of your Twizzlers? I guess you can make a bracelet. Or a ring. Yeah, I guess you can make a ring. Let's just tie it. At least get that going here. Oh, yeah, look at that. See? Tie's good. That's a double strand. I guess if they really want to do something cool, they should make these in little bands. Okay, thinner, like rainbow loom bands. And then you could make bracelets with different flavors. Now, that would be a fun little thing. Did I just give them a good idea? All right, so I've ripped it pretty much apart. Got a few more double strands here. Don't mind me. If you've seen our videos before, you'll see that I like to play with candy, at least to dissect it and see what we're getting here. So it doesn't really stretch good. Do you notice that? It, it doesn't have a good stretch tolerance. i got to eat this, though. I'm going to try a piece, curl it up, Mmm. Flavor was not too strong on that one strand. I think I need to take a bite of the, like a big one. These are pretty thick. Now that's the kind of bracelet I'd want. Look at that. It's a rainbow loom bracelet made out of Twizzlers. Look. Hmm. That's so beautiful. Oh, I'm going to eat it. I took a big bite out of that one. That's better. A lot more chew, density, more flavor to work around. It's not a super duper apple flavor. But it is green apple, so in my mind I'm thinking sour, but it's not sour. It does have a pretty good green apple taste now that I think about it. You gotta kinda eat things a few times and really get a grip on them. Or oh, I can untie. Mm hmm. Looks like I can make bows. Candy bows. Look at that, you can put that on your cupcake. Well, I went a little uneven. I gotta get this one through a little further. That's where you're gonna have a problem. Because once it sticks, it's hard to undo. Overall, 
I have to eat all these scraps now, but I won't do that in front of you. I think it's really good. It's tasty. It's got a nice chew, good flavor, and you could play with it. And thanks for watching. If you like this uh, kind of stuff, check that description, search our channel. We're doing all kinds of green items. Oh, okay, I'm done. Thanks for watching. It is really appreciated. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.